What's going on guys and welcome to a new video. I got this question from Noah in the lifestyle design community and he basically wanted um, a breakdown on Facebook lead generation ads because he didn't really understand um, how the flow actually goes and uh, Noah is not in the mastermind and um, he's not in the course so I understand that he has got this question um, and guys for those of you that are in the course you guys will obviously already know all of this information so if you are in the course and you're watching this video feel free to help people out in the comments below and for those of you that have got questions or if you want me to create any type of a video that is relevant to social media marketing then please request access to the lifestyle design community because those people do get um, a priority um, you know over everyone else because they're already in the group and if you ask questions there and first of all you know people within the community will help you out but um, you know if people do not know the, the answer to the question then obviously I will create a YouTube video on that topic with that said um, basically what I'm going to do today with this mind map is give you guys a sort of breakdown of the whole Facebook lead generation um, campaign and basically just give you guys a complete beginners overview of what that looks like and how you can set it up where you need to set it up etc okay so let's just start off um, with the Facebook ad so let me just type Facebook ad here so you've got the Facebook advertisement and uh, basically what you're going to do with Facebook lead generation is um, run an advertisement um, with a lead generation campaign. So for those of you that don't know what a campaign is, um, you've basically got campaigns. Under that, you've got ad sets. And under that, you've got ads. Okay, so when you are choosing... Um, you know, when you're working with Facebook Business Manager, you've basically got three layers and uh, the, the top layer is the campaign. So you choose an objective for your Facebook ad. The second layer is the ad set where you basically choose what kind of audience you want to, the ad to be you know, uh, published to. And then the third layer is the bottom layer is the actual ad itself. So if you wanna change, for example, the image or the text of the ad, you go into ads. If you wanna change the audience, you go into ad sets. If you wanna change the objective of the ad, you go into campaigns, okay? So for the Facebook ad, you select lead generation campaign. And basically what you do with the Facebook lead generation campaign is you gather information about, oh, hang on, so you gather, now I don't wanna add an image. You, can I still type? Yes, we can. We gather, info about the potential clients. I have no idea why it's uh, gained a font size. Let me see if I can change it. There we go. Okay, so we gather information and the information is, um, not this one, name, um, telephone number, or and or email address. Okay, so that is the information that we are trying to get from the potential lead for this client. Okay, so basically, uh, this is a very, very brief overview of what this looks like. And the Facebook ad is basically what we create in with the ad account of the client. Okay, so the ad account is connected to the client's credit card. Let me just quickly add that here. Okay, so the client pays for the ads. We do not pay for the ads. The ad account is connected to the client's business Facebook page. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to request access to both the ad account and the client's business Facebook page. And we can do that with our own Facebook business manager. Okay, so basically what you do is you create one business manager and that is yours. And with that, you request access to the ad account of the client and the business Facebook page of the client. Okay, and basically with that one business manager, you can have multiple clients. Okay, so that is, that is yours. The business manager is yours. And then with that, you request access to all these different types of clients. So for example, let's say... Um, this is client number one. So let me just move this along here, add this here, and then remove, not that one, remove this, remove this, 
So we've got client number one, and this is client number one's ad account and client number one's business Facebook page. But we can also have client number two, and they all basically have the same. So client, business manager, and client ad account. Okay, so with your business manager, you can have um, you know, multiple clients attached to it. And all you need to do is request access to both those things. So within your business manager, you can request access to their um, their business manager, their business Facebook page, sorry, and their client ad account. So client um, business Facebook page. Okay, what they can also do, which I don't recommend because it is messy, is uh, because their client business Facebook page and their client ad account is attached to the client's business manager, okay? And they can also give you, as a person, they can give you access to their business manager as well, but uh, that's something that I don't recommend. I recommend keeping everything in your business manager. So your business manager is basically the back end of your Facebook, and with that, you can basically, um, you know, request access to all these other clients ad accounts etc okay so from here you've got the facebook business manager you request access to the ad account and the business page of the client and within that you set up the facebook ad so the facebook ad is a lead generation campaign and within that lead generation campaign you basically create a lead form and then with that lead form that is where you basically gather the info well, what, and the info is the name, the telephone number, and the email address, okay? And then basically what you need to do then is pass on this info to the client. And you can do that with a program called Zapier, which um, I won't get into now because that is a bit more in-depth. You know, I'll probably just keep this uh, basic for now. But basically with Zapier, um, let's just see, reverse that out, there we go. So with, it, with Zapier, you can connect um, the client's um, or basically you can send the client an email or a text message with the info of the new lead that's come in and that is how they can see you know that the ads are performing well because obviously if they get 10 text messages or 10 emails saying there's new clients then that means that the Facebook ad has generated 10 new potential leads okay so this lead that is coming there's a you know there needs to be a reason for this person to sign up okay so with the lead generation campaign with the info that you're gathering you need to give something to the client in exchange or to the potential customer of the client in exchange for giving their information so what you can do is you can um you know maybe give away a free consultation um a free brochure pdf free ebook etc that depends on what type of client it is okay so for example um, if you're in the car industry, you know, if you know, you're working with a dealership that sells high end cars, then maybe you can do something along the lines of, um, a free test run, a free test drive, etc. If, um, you work with dentists, you can give a free, um, you know, teeth consultation, free teeth whitening, etc. It needs to be a very, very low barrier to entry, you know, to entice people to sign up to give their information in exchange for something free, okay? This is what we call an ethical bribe. So we'll call this a lead magnet slash ethical bribe, okay? Because we're basically bribing people, quote unquote, to give their information in exchange uh, for, you know, whatever they get, for a free gift or something very low ticket. Um, and then from there, the client, so your client, your social media client follows up with this, uh, you know, p potential customer. Okay, so it's not your job to actually close the client. Um, I saw in the Facebook group, I can't remember off the top of my head who it was, but basically someone had a limo service um, as a client and he ran really, really successful ads. You know, the ads were performing really well. He was getting a lot of leads for the client, but the client wasn't following up with the leads properly and he was losing the potential customers. and. The customer client blamed the agency owner, which wasn't his fault. It's not your responsibility. In this case, it wasn't his responsibility to actually close the leads for the client. Okay, it's 
only your responsibility to generate the leads okay what the client then does with the leads is completely up to them you know if they um if they want to ring them if they want to send them an email if they want to uh, you know like them or befriend them on facebook that is their responsibility that is you know they can do whatever they want it's only your responsibility as an agency owner to generate the leads okay unless you, you know agree for a much higher fee or maybe a revenue share or something like that to close the lead on their behalf but you know that is uh, not the first objective the first objective is to generate the leads okay so basically this is a very brief overview of how you would do it like i said face your facebook business manager you attach that to their ad account and their facebook business page because the ad advertisements are displayed on their Facebook business page. So let's say your um, your client, your, let's say your agency is called YouTube Media, okay, and your client is Apple. Okay, you you so YouTube Media sets up the advertisements within their Facebook ad account, and then the ads will get displayed as Apple. Okay, so Apple has set up this this ad, but they you know people that see the ad can't see that it's YouTube Media that sets them up. So it says Apple, you know has published the following ad. Okay guys, so I hope you know this gives you a bit more of an understanding of how a lead generation advertisement works. Like this video, you've got something out of it. If you are serious about starting your own know, social media marketing agency and you know you want to know more about it, how to get started, how to scale it, then I have got a free training which is linked below. And in this free training, like I said, I basically show you how you can start, automate and scale your very own social media agency without prior investment or experience subscribe to the channel for more and i'll see you guys in the next one